Good day, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to meet with me and discuss an investment opportunity that's as smooth as a basketball swishing perfectly through the net. I'm sure this won't come as a surprise, but the virtual reality industry is at an all-time high in terms of providing different types of perspectives to those seeking new ways to be entertained. It is currently sweeping into the video game industry and has also become a big part of the sports industry as well. Although there are current VR companies providing live content during sporting events, none focus solely on just one individual sports, league, or a sport in general. This is what crossover reality will create for our consumers, that new and unique way for them to view live in-game content of their favorite professional and college basketball teams or players. Basketball is on the rise globally, especially at the professional level, with the NBA creating a new and entertaining style of play that has fans all over the world captivated. Unlike other VR-based companies within sports, Crossover Reality will provide basketball content only, which will help drive basketball fans everywhere to our products and subscriptions. Other segments that will be targeted for marketing for the Crossover Reality brand and services are mostly within the millennial generation, including mostly male individuals ranging from ages in between 13 and 38. This is according to the Census Bureau. This age range is more likely to be proficient overall at using these types of technological devices that will provide the streaming capabilities for the viewers. As mentioned earlier, there are different types of sports-based VR providers already, with many providing some of the major events throughout the year, such as the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, and many other marquee events that take place across the globe every single year. Some of these companies include Next VR, Voke VR, and Virtually Live, with the latter providing content to mostly European and Asian audiences. These companies merely help provide the streaming service, but not the actual VR-capable devices. Crossover Reality will be similar to these companies, and not really in direct competition with major VR headset providers like Oculus or PlayStation. Currently, I am acting as the CEO of Crossover Reality, and have a master's degree in entertainment business with a sports management focus, as well as a bachelor's degree in sports marketing. I am also in the process of hiring employees to help build this company from the ground up. Included in this will be an operations manager to oversee the product's development, and a marketing director to promote the company's brand and products. Crossover Reality will also hire an outside financial consultant as well to help manage the company's finances and revenue streams. Crossover Reality will use three different types of digital channels to market and provide the viewable content to our consumers. The channels are through mobile apps and VR devices, partnering networks and sponsors, and finally, social media. KPIs, goals, and targets will be created to help measure the success of these channels, and multiple analytic, analytics providers such as Google Analytics will also help determine the success of how the brand and content is being received by our viewers and subscribers. We do not expect to be fully operational at the beginning of this enterprise. However, we do have goals and expectations laid out in a projected budget that will help us measure and determine our overall success within the first three years. There are also multiple goals we expect to obtain within our first year, such as sustained application functionality, a strong presence on social media, and reachable goals of subscribers and viewers. According to our numbers from the projected budget, we expect to become profitable within our very first year of operations. Crossover Reality will generate more product sales through monthly subscriptions, but will create a bulk of the revenue through multiple sponsoring partners as the company develops. There will also be opportunities to create cash flow through network providers and merchandise sales in the future. As noted through our financial statements, Crossover Reality is projected to earn positive income within the first year, with those numbers increasing after every year passed. Funding this company at the beginning will require $7.5 million from an outside investor. This is even with the $1 million that I'm investing into this company from my own pockets. A majority of these initial funds will be used for the better part of creating and sustaining the service and live content to the consumers. 
It's of the utmost importance that the content is received and viewed by our consumers with as little complications as possible. They're not going to buy what isn't working. The main goals are going to be focused on providing new and unique experiences to the basketball fans. And by focusing on basketball-based audiences, it will allow crossover reality to really capitalize on the individual markets, rather than competing with another sports-driven fan base like football or baseball. Although the products do already exist, there isn't any reason to believe they can't be enhanced and the content provided through much more effective ways. This product will sell and will sell in mass numbers once people see the game from an entirely new perspective. That's, again, as smooth as the swish created from a basketball falling perfectly through the net. Thank you for your time. This concludes the presentation.